All right, let's push into the heart and finally take out the sisters. I don't know if we'll end up just immediately fighting them or if there's more stuff for us to deal with along the way. It's hard to tell. Mm, looks like we still have some stuff to deal with. Look at all these flamethrowers they keep giving us. Why are they giving me so many flamethrowers? Is that just a hint of, of the story here? That's pretty typical for these hosts? Ah! Jesus! Just to break out like this? Holy shit. I got saved by the... by the four second vulnerability thing. Oh my god. How the hell? Uh... Right... So... How am I supposed to get past this? Ah! <laughs> I had to shoot these out. But my gun! There we go. good for me to have that invulnerability thing. It'll save me from any more instant deaths. Oh, hey, it's my brother! He's getting pretty darn close to just being used in a virtuality pod thing, dude. Here he is, puppy! We've got him! Let's get your brother out of here before these psycho bitches- Uh-oh. <laughs> They're here already, aren't they? Oh, shit. Hello, Gemini sisters! Here you are! I will rip your fucking heart out! Uh, I mean, you probably can't actually do that. Can't you be a little nicer? He'll be hurting soon enough. We don't have to add insult to injury. Shut up! And you! Finally, you'll learn what you're up against! <laughs> Final showdown. Get them, puppy! Alright, crack knuckles! Eh, eh, I'm trying to. Crap, my knuckles in the real world. Oh, there's still angels and shit around here, too. I guess I have to take them out first. Ugh. How many of them are there? Holy shit. Hey, you doing all right there? You're looking a little green. Okay, obviously, I should probably, uh, get the flamethrower- oh fuck! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so fucking dead, dude, holy shit, I was not expecting the laser beam attack. I have to use my brother's cell to keep myself alive. My brother's pod is the only way I'm gonna survive any of this! Okay, I just need to take out the angels first! Let's take out their means of production, or something like that. Damn, there's so many fucking hosts, guys! And these angels aren't dying! I should probably be grabbing those gifts that keep on being thrown towards the front. Give me a flamethrower! Are right, you not? Know I got a better idea. If you're not going to give me a flamethrower directly, I'll just have to summon it myself. Where is it? Hellfire. I don't know if I actually have it selected. Okay, I do. 
Whoop, that's lasers. Alright. Well, Hellfire is the fucking confirmed way to deal with this shit. Because I can take out the pile, and the angels are just sitting here and burning them all. So less hoes for me to deal with, confirm ways to deal with the angels. I hope. It doesn't seem to be working out. How are you still alive? What the fuck? I'm just trying to assume that, like, taking out the angels is my goal. That will lead to us killing everything else. But I might have to actually just run up there and shoot the main system. I'll accept. I'll, I'll just shoot at, at Mother herself. There we go. Jesus, I'm like trying to use my damn power attack and I just keep on like holding it up but not actually charging it. Hey! I don't know what happened, but one of them broke! Yeah, I'm just gonna hold, hold the line back here. I'm the furthest away from all these different angels. It looks like two of the angels are broken, so that's good. Go, we're fine. Okay, play safe rather than fast. That's the best way we can handle this situation. Also, we gotta be careful of the limited range to things. Uh-oh. I chunked out half its health and something's going on. Uh, I don't think they like that. They're bleeding now. You... You killed her. <laughs> I'm finally rid of that stupid bitch. Now I'm free to use all this power for me. Come, my children. Eat him alive. Let's show him what real pain feels like. Uh... I hope she's not about to use a new attack. That just, like, goes through my safety. That would make me sad. Alright, we gotta get back to shooting her up. We're scared of all the shit around us, but, uh... The sooner we kill her... The less of these fuckers we have to deal with! Holy fucking hell, dude. <sighs> Where the hell are they even coming from? Obviously still the cores. The angels themselves. <laughs> it's still really amusing to me that I can melee these guys. Or not these guys, but like the mother unit itself. Now that I've realized that I can use the laser on them, I'm gonna keep doing that. That's a good way to deal with them all. Dangerous, but uh, that's fine. We live for danger. So what happened to my constant incoming gifts, her? <laughs> could I could I get some help here? We almost got it! There we go!
Is it finally dead? Thank God. Now I can finally save my brother. This is it, puppy. You made it. He's right there. Go see him. Sure. Although, I have suspicions about everything. Free your brother. Hold on now. I'm gonna burn out these final corpses real quick. <laughs> just, just to make sure nothing comes after us. And we're good. Hey, broski. Hopefully, level completed. 210 kills. Only got a B ranking. I guess it did take me a while to uh, just start shooting at them. Here you are. Always lagging behind. I've been waiting for you. Come on, little brother, let's go! This seems like a bad idea. Oh no. Heaven? Too slow. What? So it was all in my mind? So we finally meet. Hey, he's got a similar mask to me. So we finally meet, brother. We've got so much in common. This arm, for example. I got it from you after the accident. I lost mine, so I took yours. That's what you are, my bucket of spare parts. We're biocompatible. You were locked away from the world deep underground. My well-guarded secret, my only weakness. You see, heaven is full of mad dogs. Hungry for power. That's why we're so successful. I knew that one day one of them would want to take my place. They found you, grabbed you, and programmed you to kill me. Being biocompatible, you were the only person who could walk through the security systems. They would have succeeded if it wasn't for her. That's right. The Big Brother program was her idea. Destroy usurpers with their own weapon. I find it amusing. Thanks to the host deliver, deliverer prototype mask, I can experience my revenge every step of the way. What you did for me, I'm touched. Your part ends here, but I won't make the same mistake. This time, I'm gonna keep you close. Knock, knock. Not interrupting, am I? You, you must be proud of yourself, breaking all my barriers. We're done here. Back out before I decide to finish with you. I don't know who's talking. Old fool, you still think I'm just a hacker? Uh. This is my game, and it will end when I fucking say so. So was she like an angel? I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Wake up, puppy. Time to finish it. I don't work for anyone. I always wanted to get him, but couldn't crack his security. I tricked him into working together and wrote the Big Brother program. And now, thanks to you, puppy, we are inside. Help me end this. Be my Trojan horse. Now, either you kill that fucker, or your head explodes. Remember how this works? The timer counts down to your death. Killing adds precious re seconds to your life. Goodbye, puppy. And remember, if you make it out, meet me where heaven falls. Well, you're like a robot or something, right? Oh, shit. 
I gotta survive as long as possible. Thank God they let me keep my weapons after all the shit that happened, right? <laughs> Alright, so I expected something to be fucky with uh, her. I didn't expect something to be fucky with brother. <laughs> So we're probably gonna go through a gauntlet of, like, all the enemy types in this game. The good news is, a large chunk of them just died immediately anyways. Come on, guys! You know it'd be great if right about now, the creeps came in and helped us out. It turns out, just any old gang, as long as they're motivated enough, can break into this security system. Size beams! Come on, keep sending people after me. Brother turned out to be a big old dick. Turned out to be the boss. That's an interesting plot twist. Hopefully, we can actually get some better information on who her is. Is she? I'm assuming she's an AI of some sort. Hey, even the suicide bots who die instantly give me five seconds of extra time. Although I didn't expect her to fucking turn this thing all against me like this. Uh oh, that's a cyborg. Excuse me, just gonna get rid of this and use shock grenades. Actually, whoops, wrong abilities. There we go. Burn it! Burn it to the ground! Whoops, I don't want to walk towards the explosion of damage. And we're good. Is that it? Is that all you have to fight against me? The answer is no, apparently. All right, brother. This might be one of those, uh... One of those segments where it's like, you have to die in order to beat the game. But we're gonna keep going, man. I would say, this guy's gonna remind me of the creeps, and then I watched him flip around, I'm like, oh, well, maybe not. Okay, what can I do about some of this? Maybe I don't want this. I give myself extra weaponries here. Because if I want spinning weapons, this is the only guaranteed way for me to get that. Oh, two vampires, huh? All right. Ooh, it gave me a yellow version of the Carver? That makes me pretty happy. I didn't expect to get a uh, upgraded weapon from my supply drop. You know, I'm really surprised I didn't get an ability that allows me to sap health from enemies. Oh shit, what? No! I got go, fucked! Go, go, go. No, that sucks so much! I was doing well! Alright, so first off, no, it doesn't look like we have to die. We actually have to survive as long as, uh, as possible. Fuck, though. I got squashed by a vampire! I got squashed by the vampire and died! Holy shit, that sucks! And I lost my yellow carver, which was probably gonna be amazing. 
I just don't know if they do any damage, extra damage, or if they just have more ammo. And durability. It still is nice to think about. Alright. Let's try this again. Hopefully not get fucking squished by a damn vampire. Out of all the things I'm perceiving as a threat, getting squished is not one of them. Come in here and just toss grenade at me, these little assholes. Well, it's like I said, by the end of this, at least we'll shut everything down. All the way to the source, even up to the boss. It's his own fault! He just watched me murder, like, a shitload of people, including his own guys. Who are working, well, for the enemies, but... Surely he didn't- surely he should remember or notice that and go, Wow, maybe it'd be good just to have him on my side. He was gonna fucking kill me. I'm just spare parts to him. Even though we're actually brothers. We're biocompatible. <laughs> it's kind of amusing that these count as, uh, these count as kills. As they kill themselves. Fucking, what's going on here? Oh, I'm dumb. All right. <laughs> I keep on spamming X to use shock launcher, and I just realized I have draw. I have the uh, the summon supply drop thing as as my my stun or as my X. See, that's all I wanted to do. Fucking kick it over. There we go. It's very important to kick over the cyborg. Okay. <laughs> Blow them up while they're all in a row! One really weird thing about this game is, uh... Your combos go up depending on how many enemies come in and instant die, pretty much. But this game really likes to have enemies take, like, a really, really long time to actually spawn. That's kind of frustrating when you're trying to go for these combos. It's like, look at this! These guys fucking drop in and take a solid extra second or two before they actually come down the field for me to continue my combo. I want to combo like 20 to 30 kills, not just 6 to 10! Sorry, sir! No, not allowed here. It's the cyborgs just die. Whoops. I pressed A to knock him over and uh, accidentally skipped through that. We good? I get to fight the boss now? The timer's gone. Kill boss. <laughs> Come on. Ah, that's it then. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? Nod or shrug? Ah, shrug. Come on, make me feel it. Did we just jack into his mind? I was expecting, like, an equal fight or something, but he just allowed us to hack him. And I guess... That's that. We kill our brother slash the boss, and then escape. Do we eventually meet up with her? I don't know. We'll probably have to go through the cutscene, or the credits. 
I hate when I run into these moments where like, I don't know if there's gonna be more and I'm really tempted to hold A to skip. We're gonna hold A to skip. It brings us, it brings us to the main menu. Okay, well either, oh, we don't even have a continue thing. We have a select level though. So either there is nothing in the post credits or the post credits are in the credits and therefore you can't skip the credits. Let me check that out before we make any decisions. Okay, so there is no after credits scene. A little bit disappointing, especially since I really don't like when games have a vague story that kind of gives you hope to get some story resolutions and then they just cut it off. That was a very disappointing way to end the game, right? Like we 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 fight all these different bosses, we go through all these different sections and then at the end we're where it's revealed that oh well, brother, <laughs> well, I guess you're going to have to deal with this and you go through a couple of waves and then the game ends. You don't go through a boss fight with him. You don't you don't actually get to meet up with her and have her kind of like throw exposition with you at the very end. No. You just you get an okay end scene and that's that that's it. Man. So Ruiner is an alright game. Uh, the things that drew me in didn't really hold it up terribly well. The aesthetics of the game are definitely really, really great. Music's okay. I kind of didn't really feel its presence all too much, although some of that might have been just because I was focusing on the game. But yeah, I didn't really hear any tracks in the game that made me like remember them later on, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But aesthetics are nice, uh, world building was okay. I think there could have been a little bit more fleshed out in a lot of different regards. The world could have been fleshed out a little bit more. Uh, Rancock South could have had a little bit more things to do, side missions and things to do. You could cut out Rancock South for the most part, like the actual exploring of the overworld, and you wouldn't really lose out on much. That's how little presence that area felt. And that's kind of, that's kind of sad, honestly. Other little things, would have been nice to actually have real voice acting, because uh, there was some voice acting in the game, so you obviously had voice actors designated to represent characters, uh, but you, they, then they just disappear for cutscenes and things like that, and that's alright, I guess, just it would have been nice to to, to have um, as, a, as a small degree, because it's, it's always nice to have some voice acting. Uh, in terms of actual gameplay, in terms of the combat itself, I did like the amount of abilities that you had and the ways that you could swap them out, and it definitely was a, for the most part, a lot of, of cool frantic action. However, sometimes the flow was interrupted by enemies just not spawning in, and I felt like some things were a little too punishing. I know we didn't really have that much trouble, but I could see, like, there were a lot of points where I lost almost all of my health, and the only reason I was able to survive those moments was because I had a health regen item. And, uh, it was those moments that really show you, holy shit, this game could be really brutal, and little tiny things could have helped out with that, like, Dash, if Dash had some invincibility frames, that would be nice. Uh, if dashing in the slow motion allowed you to actually get behind enemy and they had to take an extra second to turn around to be able to face you that would have been nice as it is right now it feels like enemies are are like bots you know i mean obviously they're ai uh but there are ways to make a, a characters that you face in a video game not just spin around and instantly face you at all possible moments and they didn't do that in this game which which, which we didn't have too much of a problem with but i think on like hard it would have been really, really annoying. Just instant dying to shotguns and things like that all the time. But this is an alright game. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a solid 7. Just gameplay is average. Aesthetics are nice, but aesthetics don't really have to, can't really carry the entire game. If the story is vague and unmemorable, this is, we've, we've dealt with a lot of these kinds of story concepts before. And what you have to do, I think, in my opinion, for it to really stand out is to actually flesh these things out. Like, virtuality. Fucking actually show me virtuality. You know, they, they, they say a lot of show, uh, don't tell. And in this game, they do a lot of telling. Just a lot of look in the database to find out more or have her just give an exposition dump rather than actually showing us uh, here's a person in virtuality, and here's why they enjoy it so much. Obviously, you know, it's a, it's a simple concept to grasp. I'm not confused as to why virtuality exists in the way that it does in the game, but show me it, you know? Let me actually feel really, really bad about the people who are, like, losing their lives 
and becoming like zombie-like to these to virtuality rather than just having them be a zombie enemy. That's I think that that that's another thing that they could have done a little bit better. But this is all right, all right game. Seven out of seven out of ten for me in terms of overall enjoyment and the way I feel about the game. I would play a Ruiner 2 for absolute sure. Or I would play Ruiner again if they redid the gameplay mechanics and fleshed things out and maybe added a couple more bosses here and there. And side missions in South Rancock. That that would have been nice. For now though, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. Hopefully it was enjoyable enough. I, I frustrated a couple areas, but we we survived. We made our way through it. Also, whoever designed the mother sections with the laser beam thing that instant killed you no that was not good no <laughs> anyways i'm gonna end up this let's play here thank you guys for watching